Today we're going to address some questions that many of you have asked me to go over. And that is spirulina and where it comes from, how it's grown, along with some questions as to quality and how we are different from other companies that are selling spirulina products. All spirulina sold in the United States by distributors is imported from China. That is a fact. A lot of you are asking me if the spirulina you bought is good quality. My answer is you have to reach out to the company that you bought your spirulina from and ask them for something called COA, which is Certificate of Analysis. This certificate will show you the origin of spirulina, where it was grown. It will show you analysis for purity of all the metals, microsystems, and everything else that's in it. This is separate from nutritional testing to show you actually how much nutrition is in it. This test is specifically for purity. With that said, in my experience, a lot of these companies do not want to show COA. And I don't know why. I have seen some of these COAs, which took me a long time to receive and obtain. Some of these companies would not release it to me because they claim it as classified information. A, they don't want you to know the origin of where it was grown and it's always grown in China. They might say Korea, they might say New Zealand. The fact is Korea is too cold. In New Zealand, they're not growing it. So when they tell you that the information is classified, it's because they don't want you to know where, it's, where it was grown or they don't want you to see the certificate of analysis because it's not pure. So before you buy it, make sure you can obtain COA. Another issue that is currently surrounding spirulina is organic spirulina. There are companies that are claiming to sell organic spirulina. Spirulina, in order to be grown, it has to use inorganic materials, nutrition. Organic material would be something like cow manure that's normally is used when you grow vegetables in soil. Organic certification is for soil grown organisms. Spirulina grows in water. If you go to your search engine and type in why did Earthrise remove organic certification, you will come up with an article explaining exactly why. Royal Spirulina has been awarded two patents for how it's grown and how it's processed without damaging the cell wall. Royal Spirulina has COA and nutritional lab results posted on the website, on the product page. So when you go to royalspirulina.com and you click shop, then click spirulina powder or frozen, then click freeze dried. When you go to the freeze dried page, you will see on top tests for COA and test for nutritional content. You have to be very careful what you are consuming because when spirulina is grown in an environment that's exposed to heavy metals in water 
and air, spirulina will absorb it. And then obviously you will consume it and it goes into your system. Instead of spirulina pulling toxins out, you will actually absorb it. Another thing is when spirulina is grown and then processed, all of the companies are using something called spray drying. Spray drying is how powder milk is made. And basically it's a machine like a cannon that shoots the powder through a high temperature chamber. Um, the temperatures are so high that it burns most of the nutrition. That's why spirulina that you normally see is very dark and it's very powdery. Well, it's more like sand in texture. This is why Royal Spirulina is using a completely different technology where zero heat is utilized. Actually, the technique is called freeze drying. Freeze drying preserves all the nutrition. This is why Royal Spirulina uh, powder has a blue tint to it. I hope you find this information helpful when it comes to choosing right spirulina for your health. Thank you and you have a wonderful day.